in five, four. The sun's come out as voters head to the polls this morning, but it's still a brisk 45 degrees here in Metro. That's nothing compared to the negative 455 degrees at one polling station. I know Janice. Good morning, Trevor. It's a first in history, folks. The Anaris crew, who are American, will cast their ballots in real time, nearly 26 million miles from Earth. Universal frontiersmen and women, but first and foremost, loyal citizens of home. Stay tuned for this evening's election results, coming to you from the exciting reaches of outer space. Now, on to Paula Morales. Hello, Paula Morales. Hello, Janice. I'm here on Antarctica an artist with results from the world's spaciest polling station, which I will report right, right after I let the people at home know I will not be going to the surface of Venus in two days. I failed the lander test, but the thing you won't be reading about in the press release is that something was guiding my hand and it was not God. It was, it was something else.